this Zuma Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I think for the second time during this lockdown, I'm joined by head of Sky Sports Boxing, Adam Smith. We're living in a crazy world. We're just speaking about it, Adam. Um, but let's talk on a, on a positive note first more uh, about boxing. Looks like we've got a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Frank Warren seems to be coming back um, end of July. Same with Eddie Hearn. So boxing's going to be back in the UK next month, hopefully, Adam. I can't believe it's only been twice that we've, we've spoken during this entire time. We should have done it more regularly, Umar. Um, it, it's, yeah, it's been a strange period. Obviously, um, everyone's health and, and, and safety has come sort of first and foremost. And, uh, you know, we're all uh, used to now weeks and weeks of, of sort of being at home and working in a, in a different way. Um, obviously, things are starting to, to ease slightly now. And, um, you know, we hope that is a, a real positive. And, of course, sport is coming back. We've got the Premier League. Uh, starting in uh, just a few days' time, which is, uh, is is a big boost for everybody, I think, and certainly everybody at, at Sky Sports and, and all the football fans out there. Uh, I'm really excited about that. And uh, look, I, I think it's just going to sort of, you know, follow on. We've got the, the, the cricket, we'll start the Formula One, you know, racing's back already. Uh, it's got a bit of snooker on the television now. Everything's starting to come back. And I think that's, uh, it's really important that, um, you know, sport is obviously something that's sort of, you know, unifies people and uh, people have missed it a lot. And uh, it's an entertainment. It's, uh, it's a way of life for so many people. And to have a pretty barren sort of two or three months has been difficult. But uh, yeah, um, with boxing, we, we love being active. Uh, it's great that Bob Aram's coming back tomorrow night with uh, Shakur Stevenson. That'll be very interesting to see how they do that at the, uh, the conference centre in the MGM. I know that it's being fraught with difficulties, obviously, you know, financial costs. And, you know, it's a new, it's a new period for everybody. And we've got to sort of almost like start again. The key is that the fighters are, are raring to go. The fans are, are, are raring to watch and, and hope to obviously be back at, at the ringside and in big arenas, you know, in the, in the coming months. But while we can't do that quite yet, you know, behind closed doors is the way forward. And, uh, yeah, very excited. I, I spoke to Frank Warren at, at length last week. We did a big interview uh, on Sky. He was talking very much of being collaborative and uh, helping each other. And despite the fact that, you know, there's BT and Sky and, and Matchroom and, 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 and Frank, and it's, it's all, you know, normally it's, uh, you know, it's a fight and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's everybody for themselves sort of thing. I think, I think he wanted to make the point that this is, you know, this is to put boxing in a good light. You know, we need to work with the board and make sure that we all come back as, as safely and securely as possible. Um, so Frank, yeah, I know is, uh, is, is on his way back. Eddie, um, every day I, I speak to him, he's chomping at the bit. Um, I'm sure the fight camp is, is, is going to happen, you know, sort of back end of July and, and August. And um, I'm heading over to, to match from this week and have a look at the garden and have a catch up uh, at distance still, I think. But uh, it's, uh, it's a very, very um, interesting time. And it's, uh, it's now, as you said, it's a, it's a positive time for boxing, for, for sport coming back generally. I've, I've said all along that we need some patience. It's, it's not going to sort of change uh, overnight. We're not going to have mass crowds back for, for quite some time. But, you know, hopefully we'll be able to start maybe bringing small crowds back in the autumn. And then, you know, by the end of the year or by 2021, we, we might have, um, you know, sort of full, full set there again because we love that. We love that atmosphere. And so do the fighters. They, they, uh, they, they thrive off it. But, um, you know, it's going to be different. And uh, the most important thing is getting boxing back up safely and securely. And uh, we're going to do that in the next few weeks. Adam, it seems like at the end of the uh, matchroom fight camp schedule, we've got a, a great treat in a, in a pay-per-view fight with Dylan White and Alexander Povetkin. Um, I know most of the fights are going to be domestic clashes and, and some of them are going to be really good, hopefully 50-50s. Same with Frank, he's going to be putting them, them type of fights on. But I think it's important we at the end of that schedule, at least we've got kind of a, a major world-level fight uh, to look forward to and a heavyweight one as well at that. Yeah, I mean, the, the cards, the, the depth of the cards. And remember, there's only five fights on each of them from the board stipulation that I've seen and Eddie and I have talked about it. Are really impressive, actually, coming back. So really excited about those. And uh, yeah, to sort of hopefully build up to uh, to a really big fight like uh, like the White Pavetkin one would be a great sort of end of, of, of fight camp. There's a few uh, I's to be dotted, T's to be crossed as always, but um, I think that's the plan that we come back with very strong shows from a, a really innovative, you know, location, something really different, something uh, you know, very challenging. A um, lot of work still to be done uh, on, on every side, from the promotional side, the production side, who's going to be where, you know, safety, security, all of those sort of things. 
the most important. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have that and, and lead into hopefully, you know, one real sort of humdinger of a night. As I said, despite the fact it's behind closed doors, the the quality should be terrific. And I think a lot of these fighters just want to get on with it. And uh, I think the matches that are going to be made in the short term and the long term are, are going to be uh, are going to be great. Um, they're going to be really impressive. I think you know, obviously, there's been a stagnant period there's been a few months where fighters have had to wait and uh, you know they've got that little bit older or that little bit more nervous that they, they're going to sort of cram fights in now a little bit more so and also the ones that really want to fight in these sort of environments are going to be welcomed at, at the moment until we sort of get back to the new norm but uh, it is going to be a slow process with 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 the crowds but uh, you know you're reading stuff all the time you know wilder fury could go to macau it could go to australia where there could be some you know big crowds by the end of the year so um you know things will uh, things will happen and i'm sure we'll all look back at this hopefully when there's a vaccine when the, when the virus is no no longer a, a real problem a real threat and we can look back and sort of say well that was a strange period but we all came through it and uh, in boxing those of us, you and I, and everybody that works in boxing, we're all sort of survivors, aren't we? We've, we've had the ups and downs. We've uh, had the unpredictability, the uh, disappointments, and then the great highs. And, uh, you know, we go again, and we've got to learn from this period, and we've got to, uh, we've got to get better at delivering great boxing to the fans. Adam, how are your team, the Sky team, feeling about coming back uh, to work? I think the production team, you know, Georgia and Ed's production team are really, really excited about it. Um, obviously, we've been uh, keeping busy during this time. Um, although there hasn't been live boxing, live sport, there's been uh, 11 channels, sports channels still to uh, put you know, big shows on, reflections. We've been sort of looking back at the, the great, great night, you know, 15 years since Hatton Stew, things like that. And, you know, we're doing the boxing show uh, for a few weeks on Sky Sports News and until the football starts coming back. And, you know, that's that's the real drive then. So, you know, there's been there's been things that have been keeping everybody busy. Um, working from home has been has been different and it will be a slow process to go back into to Sky HQ, for example. And I'm sure it will be a, a different working way when we, we finally sort of settle down again. But yeah, of course, they're very, very excited. I mean, we, we're all missing live sports. So they're really Ready to go they've got huge ideas they've got you know great great things they want to do but of course as I said and, and it is got to be put into perspective you know this is about the, the safety of the sport and the safety of still of you know the NHS and the fact that the doctors and paramedics that need to be there particularly for our sport you know are, are there and they and they feel comfortable and right and away from the sort of front line so you know as the weeks tick by and that's why we're not rushing boxing back I think that's the that's the best thing and that by the end of July hopefully we'll be in a, in a much better uh, or more balanced you know position. Adam, of course, uh, over the weekend, there were some images of Anthony Joshua in a knee brace. Um, don't know how severe that injury is, but it looks like he's going to have to rest up for four or five weeks. Were you aware of this uh, problem that Anthony had before the images circulated? Yeah, I had, I had heard that it was a, there was a slight issue, a slight twinge, something not quite right. I don't think it's a major thing at all. I think that obviously the pictures and the publicity that, that, that he got over the weekend from uh, for standing up to what he believes in, um, the, and very much so, the, uh, yeah, the knee brace was a, a, a bit of a shock for people. But I think it's, it, it looks worse than it is. I'm, I've heard it's, a, it's just taking the weight off it. It's a, you know, a two to four weeks sort of thing rather than a, you know, months and months. I think that we, we expect uh, Anthony Joshua back in, in, in the autumn. No problem with that, I don't think. You mentioned, of course, uh, why he was there uh, protesting uh, in a peaceful protest, I'll add, uh, in Watford, uh, Black Lives Matter movement. It's fair to say that his speech has caught the, the eyes of everyone, Adam. Everyone is talking about it. Uh, some people are outraged. Some people are backing him fully. What's your thoughts on what he said? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, I, the the whole sort of development of what's happened stateside is, uh, has been, you know, it's been, first of all, the... the, 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 uh, the uh, unbelievable scenes we, we, we saw with uh, you know the police in, in Minneapolis I mean it just it, it, it's you know disgraceful disgusting horrendous scenes and you know it's it's something uh, Umar that you know has always been really important to me with with diversity um, you know I'm one of my best friends colleagues as you know Johnny Nelson we've been hanging about together for years and, and it's been you know, most of my friends, have, uh, as we've spoken off, off, off camera, are very diverse, you know, very mixed. You know, it's, uh, I've got an Italian Afghan best mate, an, an Indian best mate, one from Lebanon, one from, you know, uh, 
white Jewish, uh, obviously completely. So for me, it's never mattered at all. Color of skin, it's it's everybody should be treated exactly the same. I'm I'm absolutely, you know, I, I'm outraged at what's happened in America. Um, and you know, I think it's really important that you know everybody in in our company at Sky and everybody around the world unite in that. You know, racism is is horrendous in any form. And I think that's exactly what Anthony Joshua is saying. Um, you know, he's obviously a huge figure. You know, he's gone to, to Watford and, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's obviously a leading light there. And, and I believe he was, he was given a script to read from. Uh, and and on, on that script, you know, he, he read the whole thing. If you watch the whole thing, the video, as opposed just to the clip where he mentions about businesses. And I think where he says that, you know, that, that uh, you should go to your your own businesses, you know, black businesses and, and, and Jewish businesses or whatever and shops. It's not about shops. And I, I think that, you know, he, he didn't, he didn't read that before. I think he, he, he said it, he was past the, 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 the paper. And I think, you know, maybe there was some naivety that he didn't actually sort of read that, but the, the message is clear. You know, the message is it's boycotting racism, uh, Umar, in every single form. I think that's what he's doing. He was, you know, saying peaceful, please, peaceful protests, you know, no, no riots, no looting. That's, it's peaceful protests, but it is a very, very important message. And obviously it, it's one that's, it, it's, it's, it's just huge everywhere now, globally. And I think that's so important. And, and he is a big figure, you know, he's a, he's a, a figure that so many people look up to. So I think it was a, a, an important stand that he did. Um, I also learned today that he's in conversations with the MP, of Watford with the mayor of London uh, and also the uh, head of council, I think, in, in Watford. He is planning uh, to put in a community centre in Watford, uh, seven figures of his own money into a community centre in Watford, which is for all races. All races, an educational community centre to bring people together. So I think the key message that, that AJ is saying is to boycott racism in any form and I totally agree and I'm sure you totally agree and that is the message and, and of course people are going to to be divided on social media people are going to take clips they're going to going to you know they're going to push it both ways you know people accusing him of being racist or whatever I think the message is clear he, he says that you know boycotting racism and I think that is pretty much the message predominantly around the world at the moment that racism is wrong it is totally wrong and that is why people are so um, so emotional about this, so angry about it, and we cannot possibly see scenes that we saw in Minneapolis. Um, it was, it was, I, I, I mean, it was absolutely awful when I when I saw that, and I saw that before. I saw it very early on, actually, on a news clip from America, from CNN or one of the, the news, CNN, maybe it was NBC, our own Comcast. I saw the clip on it and, and I was so repulsed. And I, I called my kids in and, and I said, look, I said, this is what is happening in America. And I was very proud. My kids went on Blackout Tuesday and, and they, you know, they posted that, you know, the, the Blackout for Tuesday. And I, I'm really, I'm really proud of them because, you know, they, they have multicultural friends very diverse that is the way forward it's always should have been and we were in a sport umar which you know we've seen joe lewis you know fight all the the, the issues at his time muhammad ali you know the great man and you know now in in, in 2020 we're seeing anthony joshua you know come up to to almost to the pulpit and yes it's got to be peaceful it's got to be protesting in the right way i believe that and you know, but whatever he says is going to be judged, isn't it? And, and it's going to be taken in different ways. So what I know is what he believes. Uh, and I and I am you know, fully behind what he believes that the race, there is no place in this world for racism. And um, everything that we can do, we should do, um, each in businesses or, or with, with, you know, education or, or however. And, and, and that's really important. I've talked to Johnny sort of daily about this. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's very important. And um, I know Sky looking at ways of, of really in, improving uh, and, and changing things. And, and that's, what, that's what's got to happen in, 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 in every uh, part of society. Uh, because you can see from the protests, from the amount of people that are in an uproar about this, how deeply it is affecting people. Mm. I want to pick up on a point uh, that you mentioned in terms of you know the days of Joe Lewis and Max Schmeling where um, I guess more nationality and, and ways of thinking was prevalent there it was kind of built as a 
Germany be the rest of the world and, and Joe Lewis was fighting for the rest of the world. And, and then you mentioned Muhammad Ali and he was light years ahead of, ahead of everyone else, the, the way he thought and spoke. Um, but now, and especially the last 20 years, let's say, I feel like in boxing, we just don't look at that anymore. I'm sure you agree as well. Um, you know, Tyson Fury, a, a, a guy, um, I can't remember the reporter's name, but he kind of tried to make it a race bait between him and Wilder. I don't know if you've seen that clip. And Fury just shut it down completely and just said, there's no need to make this a, a race thing. Me and Wilder are too human and that's that. And, and I feel like boxing, the, the majority of the time, it is like that. Um, I think it's a unique sport in that way as well. I agree with you. I, I, I totally agree with you. And, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard, I think, for, for us in boxing to look at this, you know, because it, it's just, it's, it's, it's alien, really. And I hope that I speak for pretty much everybody that works in boxing, you know, week in, week out. It is just, it, it's, it's sort of, it's bewildering, isn't it? That, that, that you know, the world is, is, could even have these pockets in. It's like, I don't know, I, I've, I've spent 25 years working in this, this wonderful sport and dealing with, you know, amazing fighters. Um, and it's just, it's whatever color their skin is, is totally irrelevant, you know? You, you, we've had, we've had in, in, incredible stories from, you know, from uh, all around the world, whether it's, you know, Hispanic, whether it's, you know, down in, in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, whether it's in America, black and white, whether it's, in, in the EU, whether it's in Germany, whether it's down under, there's, you know, it's a global sport. And obviously there's, there's areas which have been, you know, very heavily into boxing for, for many years. And the UK is one of them. Um, but I agree with you. I just, you just don't look at it like that. It, it's, it's sort of crazy. And I guess personally for me, it's, you know, being, spending a lot of time, you know, I, I did ringside for what, five, six years with Johnny and, and we, we, you know, we literally were spending almost every other day together and we just hang out and, you know, we see each other more as a sort of odd couple because, you know, we, we came through in different ways. You know, I came through um, in a sort of journalistic route and he, he had to sort of fight his way through a bizarre career where he was, you know. All right, just picking this back up with Adam Smith. We lost signal, uh, but luckily Zoom kept the first 17 minutes of the chat. Yeah, Adam, I was just... Uh... I think you you made all the points necessary. Although I don't, I find it bizarre you still got to make the points um, about such a basic issue like racism. But for some people, clearly in today's society, you still have to, uh, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest. It's 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 not just a shame; it's wrong, isn't it? But I mean, it is about education, I guess. And uh, you know, we're in a sport in boxing which has seen a, a lot of issues. Uh, tackled and, and many resolved over the years, you know, with, with Joe Lewis, with Muhammad Ali, way ahead of his time, as you said. And, and you know, it's, it's a sport where, you know, all shapes and sizes and, and uh, you know, all backgrounds, and it has no relevance of the colour of skin and it never should do. It's, uh, racism is wrong in all forms. And, um, you know, that's, that's where, maybe, obviously, more education is needed. And um, it's a shame for... For those who it's like you and I and, and, and everybody that, that get on with it and just accept that, you know, everyone is, every life matters, you know, black lives matter, you know, every life matters. And, and I think that's the, the important thing. It should be, uh, you know, everybody should should be together on this. Everyone should stand firm together on this. We, we obviously don't want, you know, huge rioting and, and, and more problems out there. We, we want it peaceful, of course. And, and I think, as we said at the beginning, Anthony was at a peaceful, uh, you know, rally and protest in, in, in Watford. And that's, and that's the right way of doing it. But there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of uh, feeling in this. So uh, there is going to be anger. There's going to be, you know, debate and, and people taking, you know, taking little clips and taking and doing what they want with them. But ultimately, and that's social media for you. But I think the, the key is that racism cannot be tolerated in any way, shape or form, you know, and you get the leading lights like Raheem Sterling in, in, in football and, you know, Anthony Joshua, massive figures in, in, in boxing. And, and it's, it's important to listen and it's important to learn. And obviously, as you said, that there are, there are still um, education to be need to be done and there's still change to be, to be made. But um, yeah, let's get on with it quicker because quicker than we've ever done it before. This needs to be absolutely stamped out and it needs to be stamped out now. And I think there's a feeling now, uh, Umar, that this is uh, enough's enough and, 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 and people have got you know, absolutely sick of, uh, of what they're, they're, they're seeing out there and, uh, and they, want, uh, they want big change and, uh, and I think there will be.
Definitely agree with you on that, Adam. Just before we go, um, out of interest, we know Top Rank have got a show uh, on tomorrow, in fact. Uh, yeah, boxing's back tomorrow in the US. Um, I know BT and Top Rank have a, have a close alliance, um, but there's nothing to say that Sky can't pick up their shows. And we know BT haven't picked up uh, that Top Rank show. Did you, were you in conversations with uh, Top Rank to, to post, potentially air that Shakur Stevenson fight, Adam? No, we. I mean, I'm very close to Todd DeBerf, speak to Todd DeBerf, Bob Arum you know, a great deal. Um, you know, we, we have our, our promoter, our UK promoter is Eddie Hearn, as you know, at Matchroom. Um, so, you know, we, we talk, we discuss about what goes on. And that has given us a lot of fights in America. We've, um, we've gone in the past and bought... Uh, the Deontay Wilder fights from from PBC. We've done business with Top Rank, of course. We've done business with everybody, but uh, no, at the moment, uh, uh, no, they've they've uh, Top Rank Top Rank show go on. We, uh, we 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 support them. We wish them well. We're very interested in seeing how it's done. But there was uh, there was no discussion to put that one on. But uh, of course, as always, we we talk. We uh, you know, I talked to Bob Arum. I talked to Shelley Finkel. We, we, I talked to Frank Warren last week. You know, it's uh, it's often that's the way that's the way it goes in boxing. And um, you know, we're always. Uh, open for, for discussions, but uh, no, our boxing partner is Eddie Hearn at Matchroom and uh, you know, we're very, very happy with that. All right, Adam Smith, thank you very much. Always make time for IFL. Uh, hopefully see you at a show soon, uh, next month when boxing's back. Is there anything you'd like to add before we go, Adam? Yeah, looking forward to seeing you in person uh, as opposed to, to on Zoom and, and everybody in the boxing world. I think um, the fans are going to get uh, the sport back, not back in its uh, entirety, so to speak, but really good fights back. And I think that's a good start. And I think a little bit of patience and we should be filling uh, arenas uh, again before, uh, maybe before the year's out, certainly by uh, early 2021, I think. And maybe you get, you know, Fury Joshua together and some of the really big fights made in, uh, in the next 12 to 18 months. And um, the great thing about it is we came into this lockdown in a fantastic place, didn't we? Yeah, back to the boxing and it's happy days, Umar. All right, Adam. Speak soon. Take care. Yes.